Hey, what's up, guys? I got another exciting tutorial for t for y'all today. Today we're gonna show you how to do some Harry Potter wand effects. It was a request from my Energy Ball tutorial. Y'all can check that out by clicking the link in the description or wait until the end of the video, and there should be a little box for y'all to click. Thanks, and here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in right into this effect. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to open up After Effects, of course. Now, as you can see, um, already, I've already done mine, but today it's kind of a cheat for me just to, you know, say, okay, so you do it, just import this stuff. So I'm actually going to show you how to do it today. First thing is edit before um, effects. It's called After Effects for a reason. So I already edited my clip with me calling me the half blood print, blah blah blah, you already saw it. And my computer is running a little slow right now because I am audio and screen recording. Uh, we have to find out where we want our we want our um, wand effect start up. We're going to continue right here. No, one more frame. And there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new black solid. So layer, new, solid, or you can do command Y on a Mac, or I think it's control Y on a PC, but I'm not for sure, because I'm not a PC boy. So we're just going to toggle the eye off on that for right now. We're going to go to our effects and presets. Um, it's called advanced lightning. Okay, um, advanced, advanced lightning, there we go. Generate, oh no, 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 no. Okay, so we can talk about the eye back on this. Boop! And then put our first point over here. Piece of crap, come on. Get this thing going here. So, anyways, advanced lightning. Make sure I select it. And then sometimes. Here it is right here. Like, sometimes you have to zoom out to find your thing. So it's, um, but it depends on you, good guy or bad guy. I did red, so I'm going to do blue. But if you want to change your colors, just go to glow settings. You now what we're going to do, a nice yellow. You know, just to show you how to change the colors on this, you know, so go to yellow. Then you can go to glow radius. You can ch change up all this crap. Um, glow radius, you can turn that down. Decay, um, I really don't use this all that much, you know. Play around with these expert settings is something I like to do. Um, you want to do your chord drain up a little bit, that's going to let it fade out as it goes out, and that gives it that, you know, not the sharp, sharp effect where it's like too much, it's just cheap, cheap, cheap. It gives it that thing like, whoa, this actually looks real like it's fading out as it's going. And something else that I would suggest you add is something called a motion blur. Is add that on there. <coughs> I'm not going to show you how to do this, but I'm going to tell you. Just search motion blur and keyframe it to go um, with your. Like, watch. See how my hand blurs as I go? It's because of the shutter speed. As your hand blurs, keyframe it and make the electricity blur a little bit, then make it go back down with keyframes. If you don't know how to do keyframes, just post a comment and I'll love to show you how to do that. Or if y'all want a tutorial on motion blurring certain things, that maybe some lightsaber motion blurring, you know, you know, getting a lightsaber out there, just let me know. So anyways, what we're going to do is, it, well, it you can't track this, okay, you can't. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to origin, and, sorry guys, it, it's going to be keyframed. You're going to go frame by frame, adding in these frames, and you're going to do that for every frame. I am not going to do that because I'm not going to do an hour long tutorial. So I'm just going to do the first three frames for y'all and show y'all how to do like the first three frames. Okay, so we're just going to do these first three frames here. But don't forget, whenever before it starts up, like so, like right here, Command Shift D, that's going to split it, get rid of that. Okay, now it's going to start off at the exact time as it needs it to start up. 
And so there you go, first three frames, second sharp. Now if you want to, it's up to you, command one. I'm just going to ask a yellow solid here. Just like that. Um, turn, toggle the eye off of it, pull up my pen tool, and make a mask around my face, and maybe my hand. And again, you got the keyframe this to follow it. But whenever you keyframe it, just do that. Go down to mask, mask one and two. Make sure the both highlight it. And um, you can turn the opacity down on these like that. Turn the feathering up on those like that. Gives you a really nice effect. And now the next thing I used was something called curves. That's something really nice to use. Okay, so now you're just going to take this curves effect and drop it onto your movie layer. Make sure it's on the movie layer. And you can adjust stuff like this. And you're going to go to red. Adjust that. So. And you can just play around with this. I'm not going to go into that much detail into it because... Oops, sorry guys. Apparently we have been recording for 10 minutes. I'm trying to keep this under 15. Okay, so... In fact... That is really just about it, you know. There you go, you got your wand, and it's going. And the last thing I did. Um, I'm actually going to post this as a freebie for y'all. You can check the link in the description. It is a little, um... What is it called? It's dust Element by Vio Copilot's Action Central 2. It's a dust wave. And I used that for this. The only thing I would like to tell you about this is whenever you add it into your composition... It looks like a piece of crap if you just make it turn on. So fast forward to the end a little bit where the dust is, you know, starting to pick up. Like right there, you're going to have to resize it. Resize like that. Um, Commission shift D, get rid of that. Now I would suggest you um, making it fade in to make it look like the dust is appearing there. Excuse the whispering in the background if you hear it. My brother has a friend over there cutting up. I hear you loud and clear, Andrew. So there you go. It doesn't look like, yeah, it just cut on automatically. Cheap effect. And it's like, oh, cool. It fades in as he's shooting it off. It's very nice. So anyways, and then what I did for that sound effect, guys, is I went to iMovie and... You should know, if you do not know how to um, import sound effects, here I'll open it up and show you what I did, I guess. I <laughs> just force quit the freaking thing. I used the sci fi sound effects from the iLife on iMovie. I think all iMovies come with that. And if you're a Windows user, maybe I would suggest you um, going online and looking for some sounds and then importing it through After Effects you know where your electricity starts and then ending it when it needs and everything so anyways you're just going to click on this little I'm not going to ask you this, I mean, it's not even required alright so as you can see you already export it like that through here and so you know I have it under um, you know I move sound effects I life sci-fi I scroll down on, on the last one warp engine 5 that sounds like a nice electricity so that's what I use I'll put it in there and that's what I use and it, and it goes like this I'll show you when that happens just cut it off and keep on looping it as in keep on replaying it over and over and over again anyways thank you so much for watching guys if you want to check out how to do an energy ball in After Effects, click this right here. And if you want to see this old lady rapping like a boss, it's hysterical, it's a must watch. Click that right there. And if you want to learn how to do a lightsaber effect, BOOM! Click that right there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Y'all have a great day.